So guys, I am done buying all kind of different products that are promising you to increasing your hair, strengthen your hair, even the word DHIT blocking. That is a hot topic. And I'm so sick and tired that I am always walking into the trap when it comes to the commercials and all the influencers on YouTube that are just talking good about all kind of different products that, I, that they are actually are sponsored by. So I decided for three weeks ago that I was trying out a new product and that was actually a disaster for me. So th in this video I'm gonna talk about that, it, my experience with that product and also what my next goal is what I'm willing to, to try out for my next product. So stay tuned. So before I begin to talk about any products in this video I just want to say that I am not sponsored by anyone this is just my own opinion and my own thoughts so let's get started so in my last video I was talking about all kind of different products that I've been trying out for the last 10 years but for the last eight months I've been using or even 10 months now uh, I've been using this shampoo and I have been very happy with this because I had had a hard time to find a product that I didn't dry out my scalp and I don't know much if it has uh, stimulating my hair growth it just feels good when I'm using it but for a few weeks ago I started to read about DHIT blocking shampoos and I googled it a little bit and I didn't do so much research about it and I was thinking well maybe this could be a fun uh, product to do for a video so I ordered a shampoo on Amazon and I actually just spelled DHIT blocking shampoo and the product that came up on the list and which had a lot of reviews on it was a brand called Water uh, Waterman's Groomy and this Shampoo contains biotin, caffeine, and argan oil. And they are promising stuff like encourage hair growth, strengthen hair follicles, contains natural DHIT blockers, improve scalp circulation, increase hair density. And one of the things that I actually catch my eyes also on this product was it was a vegan product. So I was thinking like this is just natural stuff so I order it. So when I got the product I was all happy. I ran upstairs and took a shower and uh, they say that you should uh, massage it in your in your hair and just leave it there for three to four minutes before you're washing it off and I didn't noticing that the shampoo was pouring down to my eyes or falling down to my eyes and it got really irritating and I got all swallowing and a little bit redness in my eye and I couldn't figure out really what it was. So I think it was after three days I was reflecting more and more what is going on here. And I was, and I figured out that the newest thing or, uh, or the newest routine in my life was this shampoo. So what I did was that every time I took a shower I was, uh, and I was standing there and waiting, I was drying off my forehead to make sure that the shampoo didn't fall down to my eyes. But it didn't stop with my eyes. After like I've been using this product for a week, I started to notice that my uh, forehead got so dried and also I began to get some red spots. I think you can maybe see some of them are still there. But it was all over my forehead and it was so noticeable. I wanted to use the word severe but I think that sounds too drastic. But it was so noticeable that actually co-workers and family members were asking me if I had how I felt or if I was sick or something like that and uh, I was reflecting to the comments and I was thinking like I have to stop using this product. So I started to use my old shampoo again and also I started to use some moisturizing products for my forehead and I feel that the condition now is almost the same but actually that was also one of the reasons why I didn't want to make any videos that felt really awful and so I didn't want to be on any pictures. 
So I began to read about different studies with DIT blocking subject, substance and I was shocked when I was reading about all the different studies. They are lacking so much information and the purpose of their researches and there are, uh, there are so many wrongs in the studies that I'm shocked that there are actually all companies that are claiming to uh, provide a product for you that is promising you to be DIT blocking. Anyway, so I started to do some research about different substances that are claiming to be DIT blocking and this is what I found out. So the first substance is ketoconazole and this is actually a substance they are using in fungal shampoos and here in Sweden I believe that you have, have to have a description for that. I don't know if you can buy it uh, without a description in the States or England or other countries. But here in Sweden I believe we have to have a description on it. And this is actually the only substance that I found quite a reliable uh, studies that actually suggested that it, can, that it can be DIT blocking. So the reason why I believe that this study that I was reading was a little bit more reliable was because they were actually the only studies that were comparing it with other working medicine. In this case it was minoxidil. And minoxidil has been proven medicine to work against hair loss. So I believe this is more trustworthy uh, studies of all of them so I will put them in the plus zone as you can see here on the list. So the second substance is salt palmant and this is actually something I've been watching a lot of YouTubers who, who have been claiming that this stuff really works but the studies I found actually show the opposite. The studies I found suggest that the effects are very minimal and the studies are very small too. So I think this is very fascin fascinating that uh, there are so many YouTubers who are talking well about this. So I wish I would have that uh, study they are rel relying at when it comes to all their statements except for their own experience I guess. And this is this stuff is actually something they are putting in in a lot of products and I think the studies I found was very interesting. They actually suggest that the only time you can get quite good result is when you're lacking on biotin and that is actually something very unusual. I will put biotin on the minus here so I guess the best thing to do is to go to a doctor and get a consult and they can do some tests on you if you're lacking this or not. So number four is caffeine and this is something they are adding in in a lot of different hair products. But the studies I found isn't that reliable or not that impressive when it comes to uh, proving that caffeine can be DIT blocking but I will say this. I found a lot of studies that are very promising when it comes to how, can, uh, how caffeine can actually affect the uh, hair, uh, stimulating the hair roots and stimulating the growth from uh, hair follicles to uh, increasing in the overall hair growth and stimulating the blood circulation that is. So I will say that it isn't maybe that good as a DIT blocking but it will probably help your or stimulating your hair in another way but I will put this on the minus list when it comes to DIT blocking substance. So guys let's wrap this video up or summarize all of this. And for you guys who are wondering, yes I just been downtown cutting, uh, cutting my hair and even so changed my shirt. But anyway let's continue. So my experience with this shampoo wasn't that great. I believe I had a worse experience when it comes with Pryorine shampoo. That actually was the worst case for me. It dried out my scalp so much that I almost went to the doctor for seeking help. This time it was just the forehead and I got the rashes. So I don't know what this shampoo is containing that, that my body doesn't like because I believe I am a very sensitive person when it comes to this kind of product. But 
When this happened, I started to read about the so-called DHIT blocking or natural DHIT blocking substance in this product. And that is a very interesting thing that there are so many products out there claiming to be natural or DHIT blocking because there's a big gray zone over that. And the studies they're relying is quite laughable. And I believe when it comes to these kind of studies, they should compare it with something that is already working. In this case, uh, it is finasteride. Finasteride has been proven to be DHIT blocking by many studies. So I think it's a pity and I think it should be almost be forbidden that uh, companies are relying on this kind of studies. But when it comes to the other substance that I've been mentioning in this video, I believe that will help overall your hair health and strengthening your hair. I haven't mentioned zinc, and that is actually a substance that can both strengthen your hair, and there were some studies that showed it could be DIT blocking, and it looked quite promising, but so it was, it was a little bit 50-50 when I was reading it and I didn't put it on the list only because one simple reason and that was that I didn't want to make a too long video. So what happens now is that I'm putting this shampoo down in the trash can. Another thing I want to say to all of you who gets second doubts on your products back home is that if you are happy with your shampoo, whatever you use, by all means use it. I believe that if you are comfortable with a product and very happy about it, you should use it by any means. And don't listen on me. I'm just a random guy on YouTube. So my future goal is that I am going back to my old shampoo. The only time I'm willingly tr to try out another shampoo is Hims and Hers shampoo. Uh, I heard very good rumors about this. A lot of people are speaking well about this product. But I am not so impressed by the ingredients in this shampoo. Maybe I've read about the wrong shampoo, but I believe it contains some uh, substance that I wasn't that impressed by. But I am willingly to try that out. So I'm going back to my old shampoo and going upstairs and taking a shower now. And if you found any value in this video, please hit that like and subscribe button so you will not miss the next one. Until then, I say goodbye, or as we say in Sweden, Ha det bra!